OK, we're going to move on from Trump's very boring and sweaty and low energy announcement that he's running for president. It really was sort of like I'm running for president. All right. OK, well, let's move on. Um, even Fox News cut away from the speech and they didn't go back to it for a while. This is super interesting. At a certain point during the speech, which was expected to be under a half hour, Trump went an hour and ranted and raved about executing drug dealers and so many other different things. When Trump started talking about Angela Merkel, Fox News just straight up cut away. His friend Sean Hannity cutting away. Remember I sent to Angela? Remember Angela? Do you remember Angela? Nobody's remembering her now. <laughs> Angela right, Merkel, just joining us, President Trump in Mar-a-Lago announcing his 2024 presidential run. Yeah. So Hannity cutting away. That was at 940 p.m. Eastern time at 944 p.m. As you can see here. They still hadn't come back. They were interviewing Mike Huckabee. And that looks like Pete Hegseth. And then at 946 p.m., they also didn't come back. They were interviewing Jim Jordan and um, oh, I forget the name of this woman who was uh, the great Alan Combs sister in law. I forget her name. That was at 946 p.m. And then at 948 p.m., they were interviewing some guy I don't recognize and Leo Terrell wearing a Leo 2.0 hat. This is not a good sign for Donald Trump. And there was a story floating around yesterday that the Murdochs and Fox News are totally off the Trump train. It was one of these speculative but unconfirmed stories. But interestingly enough, this morning, early this morning, Maria Bartiromo, by far one of the biggest brown nosers of Donald Trump now for years, who spread Trump's conspiracy theories and everything, even Maria Bartiromo this morning, potentially after seeing the level of lack of energy rather at yesterday's speech, Maria Bartiromo hosted a panel, all of whom were criticizing Trump and saying a lot of the stuff Trump is pulling. We're over as Republicans. T take a look at this. That's that's the thing that people keep pushing back on. They don't want to go into a whole nother storm of hate. And there is Trump derangement syndrome. Right. There's definitely touch. And, and I think he started even that last night. He started with the China virus. He started with, you know, uh, poking names at DeSantis. We've heard that. And people are tired of it. Look, I also think wow. that, you know, DeSantis and Youngkin, like you said, are really the future of the party. Right. They're, they're in a generation that I think needs to come forward. And as much as, you know, his policies were good. Trump's policies were in the first in the first term. I, I don't think the majority of the country really wants to go back there. I'll tell you, I live in Florida. <laughs> Florida's fully behind DeSantis, no matter what Trump wants to tell you. They are fully behind DeSantis. You know, it's interesting, Ivanka Trump. Ivanka Trump yesterday says she's bowing out of politics mm -hmm. just after her father's announcement. Right. Uh, the former first daughter telling Fox that she'll be staying out of the political arena altogether. That, that yeah. So, um, this really is fascinating because at the end of the day, you you almost start wondering, how did Trump even end up running? Because the polling has shifted dramatically towards DeSantis, who isn't even running for anything at this point. Not even all of Trump's family wants him to do this. Ivanka, not even there. She's bowing out. You know, I, I love my father, but sort of stuff. Maria Bartiromo seems to now be regularly entertaining anti Trump guests. Fox News has started to do man on the street interviews where they happen to come across Republicans who want DeSantis to be the nominee rather than Donald Trump. The New York Post, also a news corporation product, puts out Trump de Dumpty covers last week, making fun of Donald Trump. You start to wonder who around Trump actually wants him to do this and where you end up is it really does seem like the guy has no friends other than his own ego. And this is all directed by his own ego. And it is going to be I mean, listen, I'll say it. it's going to be an interesting two years. It also may be sort of a sad two years. It'll be good for the country if Trump uh, 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 crashes and burns. But it also may have some level of, of sadness. But let's not assume like we did in 2015 and 2016 that Trump can't win because it is very early. It is very early. Anything can happen. DeSantis hasn't even announced anything. And we'll look at the polling a little bit later in the show. In the meantime, support the independent progressive media that you like. If it's this show, make sure you're subscribed on YouTube. It's free. Make sure you're subscribed to the podcast. It's free.
If you want, sign up at joinpacman.com. If you prefer Sam Cedar or the Young Turks or Brian Tyler Cohen or whoever, just make sure you're supporting the infrastructure so that we are well placed and well prepared not to let let any of these extremists, whether it's DeSantis or Trump or whoever, actually win in 2024. We'll take a quick break and then be right back. Good habits have to be sustainable in order to become habits. It has to be something you'll actually do. And when it comes to nutrition, some people have hours to plan out every meal, their exact vitamin intake. I'm not doing any of that. I don't have the time. Here's what's sustainable for me. I start my day with just a single scoop of AG one from Athletic Greens. It gives me the entire day's worth of the 75 high quality vitamins, minerals and probiotics I want from whole food sources. It's just simple. It's just one scoop of AG one. I get all the nutrients I want. I don't have to do any math, use my protractor, my TI 83 or take a bunch of different capsules and pills. It's not some kind of wacky supplement making a bunch of crazy claims. You know, I would not promote something like that. AG one is just a simple product that does what it says it does. It gives you the daily nutrients and vitamins you likely want vitamin A, C, E, magnesium, zinc, potassium in one simple scoop. You keep your body nourished. You'll also get a free year supply of vitamin D, which I take in the winter, plus five free travel packs at athleticgreens.com slash Pacman. The link is down below. 